Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel where I teach you all about social media for creators and entrepreneurs. Ever since I posted this video with 150 Instagram layouts, I've gotten so many questions about how you can create this kind of grid without using a tool like Photoshop. So today I'm going to show you how you can create an Instagram grid in a few seconds using just your phone. But first, please subscribe if you're new to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. So you've probably seen these amazing grids where one photo is chopped up into more posts all over Instagram. These kind of grids are amazing if you have a launch of a new product or a campaign and you really want something to stand out. I actually did a small one when I started my Instagram profile. So as you can see, it's not the best because I didn't know this trick at the time, so don't judge. This type of grid is also amazing if you're a designer and you want to show off your art. I also see some companies that don't even post on Instagram have a grid on their profile in case someone searches them on Insta. Well, it's actually really easy to create and today I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few seconds. But there are also some negatives, which I'll talk about later, so make sure you watch until the end. There are different kinds of grids. You can do a large one, where one photo takes up 12 or even more posts. Then there are also smaller ones that can take up a few lines or even just a few posts. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create all of these. The app we're going to be using is GridPost and it's available on iOS and Android and it's free unless you want some extra features. All right, so let me show you how it works. So open the app, click on photo grid and choose the size of the grid you want. Then there's also this option if you want to get artsy and throw some quotes in there. You can also change opacity if you want. All right, so let's go back and choose this one and click next. Here you can add filters and overlays. You can also add texts and stickers to make it more interesting. And you can also add your logo, which is kind of cool. Okay, so after that, click done. And you'll see that the app will chop up your image and even tell you in which order you have to post. From here, you can either post the photos directly to Instagram or save them to your camera roll and post them whenever you want. But there are also some negatives, which you should definitely consider before posting this kind of grid on your profile. One of them is that your grid will only stay like this if you keep posting in sequences of three. So as long as you want your photo to stay like this, you're going to have to post three posts at a time, which can get really annoying. The second thing is that the algorithm doesn't really like posts like this. And let me explain why. So when you post 12 posts where each post is just a little part of a larger photo, it's not going to get any engagement, especially if there's no caption which is not sending the best signals to the algorithm. Also, when you're posting, let your followers know that this is just a part of a bigger image by labeling them in the captions with numbers like this. This will eliminate a lot of confusion with your followers. All right, guys, that's it. I really hope you liked this video. Make sure to tag me in your grids and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ryan Little. <laughs>